Morning, everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to those who are gathered here at Barry Road Parish Church, Our Lady Star of the Sea, and who join us on live stream in your homes, in your kitchens, in front rooms, as we gather as God's people. Uh, we uh, hear again, perhaps anew. Jesus said, "Where two or three are gathered, there am I in your midst." In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit uh, be with you all. We gather as God's family and community to be enriched by God's love. There's never any hurt in love except for loving in, in the sense whereby we give and sacrifice and we are rewarded with it, often with love back. The love of God is uh, unconditional. So as we gather, we call to mind the areas of our lives when we were give thanks that we served him well, were faithful to him, and when we were not. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. In our Mass this morning, we remember Jack Maloney on the occasion of his first anniversary of Rock Cottage. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters gathered here or join us in live stream and that those who believe in Christ may receive the true freedom and, and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, I have appointed you as sentry to the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, warn them in my name. If I say to a wicked man, wicked wretch, you are to die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked man to renounce his ways, then he shall die for his sin, but I will hold you responsible for his death. 
If, however, you do, do warn a, man, a wicked man to renounce his ways and repent, and he does not repent, then he shall die for his sin, but you yourself will have saved your life. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Avoid getting into debt except the debt of mutual love. If you love your fellow men, you have carried out your obligations. All the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and so on, are summed up in this single command. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the only thing that cannot hurt your neighbor. That is why it is the answer to every one of the commandments. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your word is truth, O oh Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone between your two selves. If he listens to you and you have one back your brother, if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. The evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain any charge. But if he refuses to listen to those, uh, to, to, to these, report it to the community. And if he re refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a pagan or a tax collector. I tell you solemnly, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. I tell you solemnly again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I shall be there with them. The Gospel of the Lord. I think at this stage we all have no doubt about the receiving of regular information around the COVID situation. Information, data, numbers, figures, percentages, cases affected. Regular news bulletins give us the updates on all of the, that's those situations. I think it is in our best interest and to understand that it can have significant effects on us, mind, body, heart and spirit. I recognize, of course, the information helps us to adjust and react sensibly to our safety needs, encourages us together to do our best for all members of our community. On top of that, sometimes it's kind of hard to distinguish between that which is true and that which is false. Respite at our gathering this morning. Here in our parish church, or at home, perhaps on your own, or perhaps with members of your family or friends, in the presence of Christ. Two or three is the kind of number that Jesus is happy to engage with. Two or three is the kind of number that he will work with you and I in building, creating his kingdom. The condition is like him, as best we can, to bring everything under the wing of his love. But in the community as well, and in ourselves, there's limitation. We may call it vulnerability or sin. None of us likes to admit our vulnerability, our limitations. And it's certainly none of us likes somebody else to bring those limitations and indeed wrongs to our attention. But Jesus sets the standard for each of us. His healing love, his forgiving love, and renewing love. Renewal 
is our consent to listen, to see in his word, sacraments, and in others, something of his own community. It is good and wise to remember regularly who we are in him. We are his very own, as two or three even or more. Nobody who wishes to be part of his community is excluded or is to be excluded. And always his, our challenge to him will find resonance with the words of Scripture, the mysteries of our faith, the breaking of bread, and its sharing. We affect each other. Our state of faith, our belief, our love, our individualism affects our community, good or bad. And a faith community that truly binds itself together would be one influenced in the wholesome story of Christ's very life, death, and resurrection. We are here in our own way, as best we can, to contribute as individuals and as a community to the kind of environment in which we welcome him. We ask for the grace uh, today, for the knowledge, a reminder that Christ is among us. Let's stand and uh, profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead, life of the world to come. Amen. We pray for ourselves and for our community. We pray for Holy Father, Pope Francis, all faith leaders. Lord, hear us. For those whose task it is to preach and spread the gospel, may the Spirit be always our guide. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace released from any worries or distress for ourselves in our homes and communities and world. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick, those who have asked us to pray for them, those who tend to them, wherever they might be in places of care, at home, in hospital, all may have the accompaniment of the Good Shepherd. 
Lord, hear us. Uh, we pray in silence for our own particular intentions. Lord, hear us. As always, I notice that we're making petitions. Perhaps we say a word in prayer of thanks. Lord, hear us. For a welcome into God's kingdom of the souls of all the faithful departed, relatives, friends, those we think of every now and again come into our thoughts, wonder how they're doing. Sorry, uh, 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 for, the, for the deceased, uh, uh, our intentions. Lord, hear us. Uh, recently deceased, um, uh, Philomena Phil Barry Nihes Bandon, Monsignor Leonard O'Brien, uh, retired parish priest of Clonakilty, Billy O'Driscoll uh, Bandon, and formerly of Family House, Dennis Sexton, Corey Heverin, Liz Levan, who was buried during the week. Remembering uh, anniversaries and otherwise, Madge and Sonny O'Donovan, Butler's Town, Mickey and Dolly Crowley, uh, Colinuck, Margaret Ann and James O'Sullivan, Butler's Town, Elsie Begley, Court McSherry and Bandon, and with family and friends this morning, Jack Maloney, Rock Cottage, Liz, Liz Levan, whose first anniversary at this time. Lord, hear us. Indeed, Father, may you hear your son's gentle and loving intercession, along with our prayers, ask that it might be granted through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Might be seated for a moment. I just want to mention uh, Pope Francis has asked that we have a special collection for holy places next weekend throughout the world. Uh, there's a yellow envelope in your box. It was there for initially to be taken up on Good Friday. So instead, Pope Francis has appealed for this collection to be taken up, as I say, next week. Uh, since the return of Masses, uh, thank you for many of you who have dropped your envelopes in and the money has been lodged to, uh, appropriately. But you might put this offering uh, next week uh, into the offerings uh, as you uh, enter the church or as you exit in the, in, in the uh, collection boxes. Buckets. Thanks. prayer that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, 
he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, when we drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Lord, Lord, until you come again, until. You Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death in the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the offering of a church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, our Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Fintan, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people who have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, to inspire in us words and actions, to comfort those who labor and are burdened, Make us, make us serve them truly after the example of Christ. And at his command, may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all may be raised up to a new hope. Remember Jack and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection 
give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. We go to this place and beyond. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon us. Receive it. Let us receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, 
the living God. We have been privileged to receive the body of Christ. We think of those, unfortunately, who are uh, on, uh, you know, at home or, and doing the best they can, and also that we recognize that we're uh, restricted a bit still uh, with numbers and so on. So we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. We ask for God's blessings. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.